Hey YouTubers, welcome to Tech World Vlogs and Tesla. I've got an exciting video for you today. Um, today I'm reviewing a smart door lock from Aquara. Aquara makes great products, actually probably one of the best known company out there when it comes to smart home products and smart home automation. Um, uh, definitely excited to set this up in my home today. But before we get into the video, I do want to give a special shout out to all you subscribers and viewers on my channel. We're definitely on track to hit um, 25,000 subscribers soon. So I do want to encourage you if you're watching this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, so today's video is uh, really exciting. Like I said, this is Aquara Smart Door Lock. A really good feature about this here. It's compatible with Apple HomeKit and I'm trying to make sure that all the products I review have the compatibility with Apple HomeKit. Aquara makes amazing sensors. I've recently purchased the uh, motion sensor and the vibration sensor. Those are really good sensors to help have a more unified automation experience for your home. Uh, but the door lock is what excites me. I've had this for a while and uh, it's actually uh, something that I wanted to review and install. So today is the day I actually put this to work. I'm going to be installing this here on my front door. Um, and there's some exciting features on this door lock that I haven't seen on uh, from other company out there. Uh, this door lock has an eight months battery life, which is pretty cool. And it has a different ways of uh, opening your door. So there's a fingerprint login so you can use your fingerprint to open and close the door um, using that as a uh, way of entry you can use the app to open and close the door you also have the hidden keys uh, so you can use the keyhole the standard keyhole to open and close the door um, and you can also share a passcode so that if you have contractors working uh, you can provide them with a passcode so they have access um, to your home so you can get the work done so there's definitely a lot of flexibility on that side. It's compatible with all HomeKit products. So if you're in the HomeKit e ecosystem, you will be able to integrate this door lock into, let's see, your light sensors or your motion sensors, which is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and unbox it. It is very heavy, but everything that you need is inside the box. Um, and I must say I got the black matte finish. This is actually the deadbolt lock, so you can easily open and close it manually if needed. Um, and uh, it is actually just a nice plain black finish, which is pretty cool, pretty heavy. Um, so I must say that. And then you have all your different um, settings here for the lock. So this goes to the back and this is the front. Uh, so the front of the door will actually mount this here and this is where we have the fingerprint sensor and then on top of that like I said it has a secret um, access point for your keys so you can actually use your manual keys to open and close the door which is a secret lock you have the fingerprint you have the digital keypad you have the pass key you have the app lots of flexibility there in terms of opening and closing your door which is exciting so I'm really um, looking forward to this experience. Let's see what else is included in the box. Um, there is another box here, which I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Um, might be a little bit more complicated. So what we have here is batteries, which is cool. So you have the battery backup system. Then we have this here. This is actually a standard set of keys. Um, but you will need, need to actually cut and modify this key to your existing key so that way you have a way to use this key on your existing door. So that's cool. This is a faceplate that's included um, inside and then some sort of plastic um, piece that will determine what we need to use that for later on. And I think that's everything. There's one more piece of box here that we need to check out. Um, let's see what this is. So this is actually just the hardware that goes into the door. So they're giving you everything. So this is the uh, piece that stays out of the door. This goes into the door like this here. So they're pretty much actually providing everything you need to set this up. 
and then you have the screws. On top of that, you get instructions. So don't feel that it is too complicated. You get instructions with all the measurements and all the um, diagrams that tells you how to set this up. So it may look a little daunting, but promise you, once you get into it, it's very, very simple to set up. I've set up a lot of door locks in the past and um, nothing surprised me. All work the same way in terms of installing. They're using your existing um, framework that you have and they just add on to the existing framework. So not to be, um, not to be like overwhelmed, very straightforward. But let's go ahead and install this here and then let's check out how it works in the app. All right, so first you wanna make sure you take off your old lock. And now I have the new lock installed. You all start with this piece here that goes in. Um, this is the connection cable I pull out here. Um, and then you wanna make sure everything is lined up. And next, I actually remove the piece that goes here too. Um, and now I'm gonna go install the back piece and make sure everything sort of calibrate and lines up. Now we have the back plate installed. I'm gonna actually um, screw this down over here, lock it in place, and then install the back piece um, for the door. All right, folks, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely going to uh, keep using the Aquara um, smart door lock. It's so um, versatile and the fact that it com it's compatible with HomeKit, Alexa, Google, really every one of the smart home assistant. Uh, it's a no brainer to keep using that. So now uh, make sure you subscribe, you like, share, uh, let me know if this is a smart door lock that you will uh, be purchasing or if you have your existing smart door lock, what brand that you have and how much you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.